Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of November 30th through December 5th. So, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be you and the other person, okay? So, what's going on with you? What's going on with them? The person that you're thinking about the most. So, the one that you're thinking about the most. So, what do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Week of Pisces and the other person. Week of November 30th through December 5th. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, an Aries, um, or another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it looks like you have, you also have fire. So there's everybody here. It doesn't, I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but I feel like right now, let me get this zoomed in correctly. I feel like right now you're feeling, uh, caught off guard or you're feeling some sort of strife you're feeling uh conflicted this is you them and the overall connection your future together the main challenges the advice the advice is to drop something maybe you need to drop somebody um that isn't secure that isn't stable but i feel like you're feeling conflicted you may you may be refeeling uh, uneasy about a situation. I feel like there's some sort of stalking going on. Maybe you're watching somebody or, or, you know, investigating, you're thinking about something. There's definitely a feeling of not happy with a current situation. Um, there's difficulty in communication. You may have a, be having a hard time communicating, but I feel like you are making progress. You are making progress. You're headed in the right direction. Uh, now, this is this is headed towards victory. It's the end of fighting. The fighting is over, okay? I don't know who you're thinking about, but it looks like the fighting is over. But you may still have your guard up. You know, you're wondering if this is real. It looks like that's the sort of truth in your hand. You know, there's some sort of... Uh, unsure. I think you're feeling really unsure if the fight is really, really over. You may be dealing with somebody that is quite uh, bitchy, all right? You could be dealing with the person that is really hard to deal with. This person is harsh. They are brash. They uh, really put you on the spot. They, they can hurt you. They can hurt you with their words. This person is very, very powerful. There's, this person is a speaker of some sort. I feel like you're 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 worried about getting hurt. I feel like you are um you're feeling like and maybe you're feeling like you don't want to communicate, you don't want to open up because you're protecting yourself. I feel like you're in some sort of protection mode right now, you know. But I feel like your heart is guiding you. I think you've been using your head a lot, you know, trying to or you have in the past. You've always trying to be trying to be logical, but now your heart your heart is really you know, pulling you in a new direction. Um, that six of wands is the battle is over. The fight is over. You you may be so you may be shocked. You may be surprised that the, that the, that the fight is over. Um, it looks like there is some element of shock here with the page of swords. You know, that's the look on this person's face is what's going to happen next. You know, what's going to happen next. So I feel like that's the kind of energy that it's like hmm not so sure about this I'm gonna protect myself you know I feel like you're in protection mode this is your your side I feel like you're having a hard hard time um, following your heart because you you got this you know barrier up you know you've set some sort of boundaries but I feel like you're you're definitely headed in the right direction um, I feel like whoever you're dealing with is has made a decision this is their energy they have made a decision they are taking charge they're taking ownership they're trying to do the right thing they're trying to do the right thing for everybody involved they may be leaving because this is leaving 
okay? This is somebody who takes charge, okay? This is a, a leader, somebody that is using their head, that is showing no weakness, that is uh, putting on a tough exterior, that is mastering their emotions. It looks like they're going somewhere because this is, this is like traveling, leaving the past behind. So somebody, and this is the overall energy, this is, this is getting on board. It's leaving, traveling, uh, going someplace, uh, getting prepared to leave. Somebody may be getting prepared to leave right now. You know, getting organized, getting everything, you know, uh, getting the plans underway, whoever you are dealing with. The Seven of Wands reversed is giving up backing down somebody is whoever you're dealing with is is backing away okay they don't want to fight anymore it's like they don't want to fight they just they're just they're just leaving they're backing away that seven of wands is 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 quitting okay they're quitting they're admitting their defeat they're feeling plow, powerless they're overwhelmed whoever you're dealing with is just like they are extremely overwhelmed the nine of so it is but this person even though this person is overwhelmed they are finding their mental strength. They're finding their strength within to overcome it. You know, they're finding their ability to uh, buck up, whatever, and, and make the plans and, and get, bring structure to their lives. So you are dealing with somebody that is very, very strong, very, very capable of success. And I feel like you're headed, it's interesting because this is your side. This is you moving towards somebody that is very, very strong very very if you're a female somebody that is masculine somebody that is a boss okay then you may be dealing with somebody that is a boss that has their own business because that is a business owner right here but anyway the nine of swords reversed um extremely uh overwhelmed somebody is overwhelmed they are struggling they're struggling to it's like the past is haunting them, whoever you're dealing with. Somebody, whoever you're dealing with, it has given deep thought. They've, they've, they've lost many nights of sleep. Many, many, many nights. They've given deep thought to a relationship. And it feels like they're just ready to stop fighting and go. They are. And I'm not sure if whoever you're dealing with is... Uh, getting help from somebody they may be getting help um maybe from somebody in their community or something like that um taking charge whoever you're dealing with is taking charge they have made a decision they've made a decision to to uh i don't know it feels like depart they're departing they're leaving. And I feel like it's going to be, in this, this departure, get prepared. Get prepared for either an arrival or a departure. But anyway, this is a departure. I believe it's a departure. But there could be a loss of, of money here. A loss of something of value because the Queen of Pentacles reversed is a loss of value. And that's the overall energy between you. I feel like you're going to be losing something, something of financial value you know, or of a value. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be financial. It's something of value. Um, I feel like there's some financial hardship that is coming, and I hate to say that to you, but I just need to be honest. I think you're going to be going down a new path. I think the overall outcome between you and another person is starting from scratch, going down another path. I feel like whoever you're dealing with does not have any fight left. This person doesn't have any fight left. I think that you're going to be receiving some information in regards to this person that doesn't sit right with you or it brings you some sort of conflict, but it also moves you forward. So I feel like this week you have somebody here that is extremely exhausted. They are exhausted. They are fed up. They are fed up and they are taking action. This person is taking action. I feel like... Um, They're preparing. Somebody is getting prepared. They're getting prepared to leave. 
This is getting prepared to leave. And they may be saving up money. They may not have the money right now, but they're saving up their money to leave. And that could be you. Somebody is, is trying to obtain money. Okay, this is money, you know. I feel like you're dealing with, either it's you, somebody just doesn't care. There's no feelings here. There's no love in these cards. None. None at all. None. I think that we, ha we have a cold-hearted individual here that, I don't know, I don't know who it is, but this Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is cold-hearted, typically. But making progress, progressing forward, leaving behind a serious battle. A battle is about to be left behind you. You're about to, the fight is just about over, okay? The, the, it's over. I feel like this week you are going to be giving, or they, or they are. It's in their section. They are going to be giving deep thought. They're giving deep thought. And I think that they're, somebody is very stressed out. Extremely stressed out. Somebody's also feeling guilty. They're feeling guilty. And I think it's whoever you're with. Somebody is feeling guilty. They're feeling guilty for... They have a lot of regrets. They have regrets for pushing somebody away. But I feel like your future together is, you know, there's an opportunity. I mean, this is about, this is your, your future, your future position. This is, this is uh, starting over, starting from scratch. This is a new opportunity. It's a new opportunity. It's learning new skills. It's doing new things. Taking a new opportunity. I feel like somebody is going to be going their own way. Honestly. This is somebody that is by themselves. That has decided to depart by the looks of things. And this is starting from scratch. It's finding the moral backbone to do the right thing. And take a new opportunity. Somebody is getting a new offer. Between the both of you. And they're taking it. They're taking a new offer. So whoever. And I feel like. I feel like there's. Uh. an individual that you are dealing with. I think you're both ready. I do. I think that you are both ready for this departure. I do. I do. I feel like this week you may receive some news or or something. It's not good news. That very first card, page of swords reverse in your column, it's not good news. You may be not receiving the best news. This news may be coming from somebody that is very cold. Or, you know, you may be delivering the news. This is a very factual, you know, it's very factual information. It, but it hurts. It feels like it hurts with the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's that, that hurts. I feel like we have somebody, and maybe it's you. There's somebody that is obsessive, compulsive, that is, you know very self-critical perfectionist and it's in your column so we have a perfectionist here who is going to be getting some information and i feel like it's i mean it is in your your section i i also see a desire for freedom you may be desiring freedom if that is your desire i do feel like it is coming because whoever you are with i feel like they are leaving or whoever you're asking about I think that they are in preparation stages right now. I think it's time for you to focus on the future and leave the past behind. And I think that is about is what is about to happen. Whoever you're dealing with may be sick. Okay, they don't, they can't fight. They can't, they, they're very low on energy. They don't have any energy. I don't know if that's the case, um, but I feel like it is. With that seven of wands reverse and the nine of swords reverse, you know. There's lacking energy, um, can't sleep, or headaches perhaps. Somebody may be having some headaches. Um, extremely overwhelmed. Really not communicating very well. I 
I feel like this whole thing was based on materialism, was based on uh, things. I do. I don't see a lot of love in these cards. So anyway, I feel like this week there is going to be... Well, it's a time of preparation, preparing to leave. Somebody is saving their money or they are... Yeah, it's like they're preparing to leave. Taking control. A decision is being made to... It looks like leave to me. This could also be travel. But there's definitely some money issues. There's some financial issues here. And somebody's going to be losing some sort of money. It's like they're losing some sort of income. They are. Some sort of income is, is going away. My advice is to let it go. Let it go. You have another opportunity here that can grow. It can grow into something long term. It can grow into something solid. I feel like you're going to be, between the both of you, this is about doing the right thing. I think there's a loss of excitement here. I think somebody has, has lost their excitement in a relationship. This is seeing the light in all that is practical and real. Somebody is, is, is reached the moment. They have reached the moment where they need to take charge. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening. We have a new enterprise here. Somebody is going to be laying a new foundation. This is the beginning. It's the beginning of a new foundation. And follow through is not going to be easy because it feels like there's going to be some sort of financial issue. But anyway, Pisces, I feel like this is a week of getting prepared. Somebody is getting prepared. They are getting prepared to take back control or to leave or something like that. Somebody is taking charge and I feel like it's going to make you happy in the end. Even though, you know, you got your guard up. There's been a lot of fighting. I think that you're, you're ready to fight at any moment because this person likes to fight. Whoever you're dealing with has always liked to fight. You know, they've caused a lot of problems. But I feel like it's about to end. This is, this is where the new beginning starts. The main challenge between you is right here. This is a departure. The main challenge is, is, is that... needing to focus on the future and not the past. Somebody needs to focus on the future. They they have another opportunity, but they've been waiting for something to happen. It's here. Take the opportunity. Don't waste it. Somebody's been wasting time. So anyway, Pisces, this is a new opportunity. You have a new opportunity that is about to be offered, okay? Or they do, because this it could be because this is between the both of you, your future together. Somebody is getting a new opportunity, and they're leaving. And I feel like it's going to leave you insecure. This is this is a this is a loss of something stable. Anyhow, good luck.